Okay, question three. We have three compound P, Q, R. And for part A, the equation for the complete combustion of P, this one, uh, which is a C4N2 liquid, is shown in this equation. Delta H is um, negative 2036 kilojoule per mole. So combustion, okay, it will form CO2 and N2. Okay, this, this is the equation we just follow. And part one, the enthalpy change of formation for the CO2 is negative 384 kilojoule per mole. Calculate the delta HF of P. So this one is very easy. First, you need to use the equation. The delta H of the reaction equal to the sum of the delta H F of products. In this case, is CO2 and N2 minus delta H F, the sum of delta H F of reactant. In this case, okay, they are the C4N2. So we know that the formation of the elements always zero so means this one is zero this one also zero so what we need to uh, substitute in they are just negative 384 which is the formation of the co2 so and remember it must multiply by the coefficient so it's four, four times negative 384. Okay, minus delta HF of the P. This is what we need to find. Delta HR already given. So it's here. Rearrange. So you get positive 500 kilojoule per mole. Okay, part two. One of the products of the complete combustion uh, of P is nitrogen gas. Explain the lack of reactivity of nitrogen. Very easy. Because the nitrogen is, has the NN triple bond. The triple bond is very, very strong, very hard to break. Okay, so you just need to say nitrogen molecules has a very strong triple bond. Uh, at the same time, it actually indicates that it has high activation energy to overcome. Okay, part B, Q form uh, when HCN reacts with the ethyne. Okay, the Q is this, huh? this one. Okay, part one, ethyne, HCN, and Q are all weak bonded lowry acid. Explain what it means by weak bonded lowry acid. Uh, you need to explain two terms. What is the bonded lowry acid and how weak is it? Okay, bonded lowry acid is the species that donates proton. So you must put donates proton or is a proton donor. And this proton donor, it's partially dissociate in solution, means it's a weak acid. Whenever it's partially dis dissociate, so it's always the weak acid or weak base. In this case, it's weak acid. Part two, ethyne, hexyn, and Q, all contain the triple bonds between the two atoms. A triple bond consists of one sigma and two pi. Draw a label diagram to show the formation of one pi bond. Okay, formation means you have to show the overlapping and the products. Okay, first, you have to understand the pi bond is formed from the P orbitals overlap and it must be sideways. So you need to draw two P orbitals side by side, overlap sideways like this. 
uh, the middle part is the nucleus. So after this one overlap and this one overlap, it will form two electron cloud above and below the nucleus. And this one, these two electron cloud considered as one pi bond. So this is how you draw the diagram for the formations of pi bond. Okay, part C. P and Q can be detected in the atmosphere by IR. Identify two absorptions and the bonds that correspond to this absorption. Very easy. So you need to know the characteristics for this uh, or the structure or the bonding in the molecule. So in this P and Q, they have the CN triple bond and the CC triple bond. So from the tables given, so you should be able to find this absorption means absorption around okay 2150 to 2250 and this one indicates the cc triple bond absorption around 2200 and 2250 which indicates the c and triple bonds so these two okay part d the flow chart shows some reactions of R, which is this one, with CC double bond and the nitron. Okay, reaction one, we know that is a polymerization. Pi bonds break and form tails, form polymer structure. And reaction two, we know that uh, is a hydrolysis because it's dilute HCl and reflux. So the nitrile will break to form the carboxylic acid. For the reaction tree, from uh, here we know that the double bonds and the triple bonds are saturated. So it's going to add uh, a few hydrogens in there. So it's a reduction. Okay, so let's start the part one. Name the type of reaction shown by reaction one, this one. Okay, from these monomers, the double bonds, the CC double bond to this polymer. Okay, this one is addition polymerization. Okay, draw the structure of S, okay, the organic product in reaction 2. Okay, this one, uh, because I told you just now, is undergo hydrolysis. The C and triple bonds break. This carbon will form COOH, carboxylic acid. So you just need to draw the similar structure, but you put this carbon as COOH, like this. Okay, name the T. So what is T again? T, this one. T is CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. Okay, this one T. And uh, in the mark scheme, dimension uh, uh, propane one amine. Okay, uh, but for the uh, later syllabus, which is uh, 2022 to 2024, uh, you should give propyl amine. So propyl group with the amine. You should you should give the name as propyl amine. Propyl amine. Okay, T also uh, be formed by reactions of this uh, one bromopropane this one with ammonia state the necessary conditions for this reaction ammonia already given this is a reactant the condition including the solvent so we must use ethanolic solution put the ammonia inside ethanolic solution and very special this one heat under pressure not just heat must heat under pressure okay so it will it will form the T. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.